it's Rokaj, your digital lifestyle expert here, and we're going to talk about how to move files from your iPod to your computer. Now, when we talk about moving files from the iPod to the computer, we're talking about when we have our, our iPod using as a portable hard drive. You can have a hard drive like this that you plug into your computer and bring around with you for extra files and things like that. That's good. But if you've got extra space on your iPod, you can do the same thing with it. And all you have to do, take a peek at this, right here in your iTunes interface, we select the devices, and you can see here when we go to summary, boop, enable disk use. And that allows the function inside of it for part of it to be used for exterior files. Now let me show you how we move the files on and off. It couldn't be simpler. Here on a Mac, we go to Finder, and we open up the Finder window here, and you can see under Devices, it sees our iPod as a hard drive. Now, when we go into here, we can see iTunes, and this is not the iTunes library where your songs are, but this happens to be exactly where the backup of the files are. So I can move and transfer. If we're talking about moving this on here, all I have to do is drag and drop and decide where in the world I want it to go. So if I want to take this song over here and drop it onto my desktop, boop, I simply do that. It's copied over and it's done. Now that can be done with a whole bunch of files. And remember, that file that I copied over is not the actual song file that we play in here. That was a backup. So on this unit, we have the primary iTunes, and we're actually using this iPod as a backup to its own iTunes library. So there's a double redundancy system built right into that. But it's as simple as drag and drop. If you're using a PC, well, you just use your control panel, you see the device, and do the same procedure, drag and drop. It's just that easy. I'm Rokas, your digital lifestyle expert, saying, stream you later.